Oh, you got a shipping warehouse? <laughs> you look so cute. We made it home. We made it home. Oh, she let me, let me fuck in the shower. I wrote my number in the mist on the mirror. I'm not the type to tell my homies about you. You're not the type to hold me down through the years. I'll be your baby doll. Back in this house, I haven't walked down those stairs in a whole ass month. You haven't done yoga in the kitchen in a whole ass month. Longer. There's all our bags. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you. DoorDash just got here. Here's a fun part too. All this mail. Also, what's up with the mail these days? It's just literally political ads and Look, Joe Biden, somebody's trying to be all pissed off at Joe Biden. Every single credit card company wants me to sign up. There's just so much trash in the mail. I don't get it. First things first. <laughs> Who else orders food immediately when they get off the plane? I mean, you have to know what time it is. I'm going to eat this. Let's go eat it. We, get, uh, we got nice guys vegan. But there's not spiders. There's anyway. not spiders. I walked through spider web when I went upstairs. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's a good chance there's gonna be spiders, right? I haven't been here in a month. Nice guys, vegan burgers are so good. Wait, we need this one. They're literally for real, real Can good. Can you um, wash your hands, please? Yes. Did you wash yours? What do you think I'm gonna ask you to do a bottom up right here? You never know. Please. Do we get the same? Yeah. How does it feel to be back, kid? The house feels nice. Yeah, we have a nice house. Yeah. The house feels real nice. California's weather is freaking nice. California's weather is mild cheese. I do have clean. You don't like that? Not really. Mild cheese weather? Uh-uh. Just mild. Yeah. Mild's um, the cheese. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice here. It's beautiful. It's pretty nice here. For the first 30 minutes. But I miss New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss it too. So that doesn't really simplify anything. Love it here, love it there. We need to get through all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do lots of giveaways. That's great. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We're going to Instagram. It's a giving season. Mm-hmm. Hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. A nice holiday with your family. A little bit. Or loved ones. Or yourself. Yeah. Sometimes we spend it by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Whatever is best for you. We have the best honey mustard. So good. Okay, we're just in devour mode, so maybe we'll Yep, check we're gonna in devour there. right now and then get our lives together. We just got dead flies everywhere. Okay, yeah. show them. I'm gonna go get the vacuum. Go show them. Ah, <sighs> nice. Why do they do that? Why are they all right there? I'm so scared. Here's exhibit A. Oh, yeah, they're really small too. Those are really small flies. The good news is they have not been eaten by spiders, so it doesn't appear to be a spider in the in the immediate area, but there's three more right here. Why? Ooh, I'm so scared. What's going on? <gasps> there's another one right you know there. How, like, flies go to the windows? Yeah. They must have like just been trying to get out for so long. Here's my knight in shining armor. Da -da -da. They must have just been trying to get out for so long. And then that orange bag does not match my aesthetic. It needs to Somebody go. called the bug exterminator. In the aesthetic police. <laughs> that was weird. 
There was more over here. They're really small. Well, oh, I think they've shriveled up. No, but they seem really small. There's more flies. No, I said no. No flies. There's no flies? I said no flies over here. Oh, I got makeup on him. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, it's everywhere because it was canoodling you. Okay, just got back from grocery shopping. I just got a juicer, so I just picked up a bunch of vegetables. I'm gonna start juicing. I got my first five pound bag of carrots. Look at that. Never bought that many carrots before. Gonna see how that goes. But grocery shopping here is way easier than in New York, that's for sure. And a whole lot cheaper. This was like, I just went to our nice grocery store. Like it has all organic produce and it's like the fancier one. And it was cheaper than what we would spend in New York. So that's a major plus. There are pepitas the same thing as pumpkin seeds? We don't know. But it says so, pumpkin seed kernels. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the sick milk. Yeah. But it's walnut, it can be good. And it's only two ingredients. Water No, I know. Milk. They're it's like really healthy. So healthy. But they're sick. Last time I well, I guess you gotta be a little sick to be healthy. I'm so scared for you. Ooh. He's been shaking a little bit more. I think I tried their oat milk Cash before. Cashew. Right no offense, like I know you guys. Ernest, I know you're being healthy. I no, it's that. Elmhurst. Or Elmhurst. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. It looks fine. It's a big glass. It tastes like walnut flavored water. I don't mind it. The thing is, it's not like milk. Like if you like milk, if you like a cow milk. I mean, that one isn't as bad as the oat good. one, I feel like. Maybe, or maybe I'm just matured since the time I tried it. You're so mature. No, it was literally like four years ago. Oh, really? <laughs> and now you're just more mature? I'm 30. Like In a week. Your taste yeah, like that's not, like your, your, your food cleanliness is mm -hmm. That's not like gonna get the job done for a lot of things. Yeah, it's not like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could use it in a smoothie or something. And you could do a smoothie, fine. but why would you even, why would you spend this much money? Because it's really I'm gonna healthy. put it in a smoothie though, like just really use healthy. water. Just use water. Well, does it have like protein or anything? No, three oh, grams, three grams of protein. Oh. It's, for it's me, I'll, I'm gonna use this on my oatmeal and. Yeah. That's pretty much. Just use water. Why would you? No, spend because that? you want a little bit. You want a little bit more on that. But you don't need the creaminess of the milk of cow's milk. How am I saying that? I'm saying that word pretty well today. Milk. Yeah, you are. It's a priority in my life. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, the Anytime I go to say the word milk. Milk. 
I always say milk, like with an E. Uh -huh. But milk it is. Like I'm just, I'm actually happy to be here because I feel like the grocery shopping here is just so much better. Mm -hmm. It's so much better. Mm -hmm. It is, thank you. Oh my god, it's got so much good stuff. Like, I'm so excited. So, yeah, take tortillas. Like, you can probably find this stuff in New York, no doubt about it. But it might cost an extra 50%. Yeah, it's hard. And it's difficult. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up my juicer though, and I'll probably make a juice this afternoon, so I'll show you guys what I'm cooking up. Tonight we're gonna go do an infrared sauna. I really enjoy doing infrared saunas and I always try to get Delaney to go along with me. Tonight she's gonna go with me. I did it a couple times in New York at some of the places. Or no, I just did it once. At a place called Higher Dose, but it was really nice. They actually had a uh, shower inside of the room. So right afterwards you could take a cold shower. So that was really nice. But the places near us, they just have the the saunas and it's pretty cool they have like tv screen you can watch netflix i think even live tv youtube anything like that i'm wearing this hoodie from checkout it's actually a really comfortable and good fitting hoodie they're a small business just got a few things from them t-shirts in this hoodie but i really like it cool, cool design check out also, not sure if we ever shared these or not, but we got the Stanley Cup, not the hockey one. Stanley the brand. These are 40 ounces, but obviously if you go on Instagram or maybe even YouTube, saw everybody was getting these and they were sold out for a super long time. Uh, they eventually came back in stock. I think they have like really good stock now and you can get like most of the colors, but we got them. And we've really been enjoying them actually. They're really nice. We got them while we were in New York. And they're actually really nice because the cup fits in the cup holder of the car. So like we have these other big ass water bottles, but they don't fit there. So we're always putting them on the ground. And then when they're on the ground, they leak in the car. And then I'm always telling Delaney that our water bottle's making a mess. So these are nice because they'll fit in the cup holder. And Delaney always likes water bottles with straws. I don't really prefer either or, but these actually, you can change it and it goes into a sippy cup. You rotate this whole thing and it goes back with a straw on it. But yeah, I recommend these. Uh, keeps your water super cool. I think it can also be used for warm temperature stuff. Stanley's like a really, uh, outdoorsy kind of brand that's how i knew them for like thermoses and stuff like that so get yourself a big cup i'm gonna juice tomorrow my first juice big juicing day tomorrow <laughs> you're so cute you ready to go sauna let's go oh. old faithful you ready This is our red light. Oh, cool bands loading up. Oh yeah. What'd you I think? I love Uncle Ben. How was your sauna? Um, my sauna was good. It was hard. It's hard, right? Yeah. I get to push yourself through it. It's kind of similar to a workout in that sense. No, literally. But then, like, the reward is worth it. There's like moments where you're like, oh, I should crack the door or something. Right. You're like, that'd be like going to a workout and like not doing what they're telling you to do. Right. Give me nine. But you gotta listen to your body and everything too. Yeah. If you literally can't handle it, like get out of the sauna. <laughs> but we did blue light. We did blue light chromotherapy, which is chrome chromotherapy is light therapy. It's like it just drops chrome hearts like all over you, you know, and that's. When, why you look like this? Ow. Oh my god, I'm sorry. You got the sillies or something? Called blue light back to my TED talk on the Chrome Hearts plug. Chrome Hearts, feel free to sponsor me at your earliest convenience. Okay. Blue light chromotherapy uh, encourages 
Would this be the right way to say it? I'm not very good at speaking. This that was is good, babe. That was good vocabulary. Encourages a reduction promotes. of promotes. Maybe. Relaxation. There you go. Mm -hmm. Encourages relaxation. One cup? Yeah. I do no garlic. Sure. Because we normally do. But just so I can avoid it. Yeah. I'm not supposed to eat garlic. It's so good for us. But it's in everything. Alright. I gotta go shower off all the toxins. Ew. And hey, do a little cold if you can. Well, I mean, we just rode the bike home, so it was pretty cold on there. Yeah. You have a lot of requests. Do whatever. I have a lot of requests? <laughs> Health requests. Seriously, I'm like, who is this little wellness freak in my I'm house? a wellness requester. I'm actually getting super into it. I like it. I like all this stuff. I think it makes me feel really good. No, it's good, babe. I love that for you. And then we got Uncle Ben. <laughs> I look like a literal crackhead. Babe. I do. It's okay. You look like a cute girl. Cute crackhead. Alright, you me and that I'm gonna go shower. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Have a nice shower. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Why am I seeing here comes the bread? <sighs> You're gonna marry your juicer. Look at this. This is our new life. Yeah. How lovely. I want to have like celery juice. I'm gonna every make celery. I'm gonna make celery juice right now. But there's all this hype about celery juice, and apparently there's not like actual no proof that it's good for you. Or not yet. No, it's like not fully vetted. I don't think. Are you serious? There's just so much information in the world anymore. I don't. Well, it can't hurt. No, I don't think it hurts. I just don't think it's like fully proven. But I can prove it. The audience will weigh in. Weigh in. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Hello. She's a big girl. She's a big fat mom. She would not fit me up. <laughs> she would not fit me up. I gotta find somewhere for her. A juicer is for like Texas lifestyle. Well, I'm bringing Texas to California. Everything's bigger in Texas. Wait, literally, where are you gonna store that? We found a place for the juicer. Things, juicer dream, let's see another day. Massive ass juicer. Goodles. Oh look at all those back there. I know those are empty ones. Oh. Lord have mercy. Anyways, okay. Cute. Juicer can stay. See how she sounds. Oh, there she goes. All right, she works. All right, let's do it. For both of us, I, and I think you're supposed to do a little lemon. I think you can do an apple too. You want an apple in there? I don't think I want lemon in mine. A little lemon and apple? No, I don't think I want lemon. You just want celery and apple? Yeah. Juice, death, celery. I'm gonna do a Granny Smith apple and a full stock of celery. Wait, let's show them this apple I got at the grocery store the other day. Have you guys ever seen a yellow apple like this? It's literally just straight up yellow. It was, called, up. it was called a very fancy I didn't read any of the instructions because that's how I do it. Yeah. It's just got an on switch, right? All right, juicer. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah, don't tell me to hear 
I'm not gonna chop my finger off, but something just flew out of there. All right, let's do some celery. We like celery. Oh, oh God, oh jeez. I didn't put a top on that. <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't know it was quite like this. Crazy, crazy, everybody's crazy. I'm gonna load it up with the blade off. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Look at all that juice. Look at all that. The celery produces. All right, this was two apples and one stalk of celery. Smells like health. Oh yeah, look at that beauty. This is a beautiful thing. Oh goodness. Oh, your shoes my new Great, oh, these aren't uh, the mushrooms? Yeah. These are cool too. He loves it. Um, how cool is this? It's very cool. I'm really scared how it's gonna taste. It's gonna taste horrible. Um, that's the point. And I can feel nauseous. That was a lot of, that was a lot of juice. From it's a, too much. I huh? probably didn't need to do a full stock of celery. That was full a, bunch. Full bunch, is that what it is? Yeah, the stock is like the singular. Cheers. I'm, I'm scared. Does it taste horrible? No. Oh, it just tastes like celery. And celery with a, a little sweet. I probably should I'm not have, into the lemon. You don't want lemon in there? I didn't no. do any lemon. No, I know. I just like, if this I tasted like time. lemon, I don't think I would like it. Yeah! Cheers! Cheers, my love. Maybe cheers once, but. Cheers again. How about our little sweat sets? Been there, done that, mess around. What's going on in this place? Like, we just cleared out the freaking pantry. Please pain. help. We need help. Let's, um, let's chat about New York. Oh, should we give them a little New York update? New York review. Because we're getting so many questions. Everybody's like, make up your mind. No, they're just curious. I know. Look at this. Our fresh juice. Are you kidding me? Such a vibe. You don't like it? I mean, it's like a lot to drink all of this. I know, I'm sorry. You don't need to finish it. That's all good in one for sitting. Me. Yeah, it is really good. For you. And it loses its properties after 30 minutes. Babe, what the fuck was that burp? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Why did I just not? Please tell me what's going on over there. I'm not kidding. Go over there. Look right now. Go. Go, oh. go, 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 go. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. Oh my god, I don't know. What is going on? I don't know. It's a daddy long leg with a bunch of weird things around it. That is so freaky. It caught all those things? Because we were gone. Oh, did we never clean up these ones? No. Oh god. Okay. Did you just open the freezer? Yeah, I was looking for the vacuum. <laughs> Close. Right Adjacent. Next, right next to it. Babe, what was that burp you just did? I feel like I will never recover. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay, so New York City, where are we? Anyways. All right. So, the thing is, as we explained in our previous vlogs, we spent the last month in New York City to see kind of what it would be like living there because it's something that we've always dreamed about doing. And then, obviously, we're home now. And like Clayton said, we've just been getting a lot of messages and questions like, what's the decision, whatever. And I feel like it's not as dreamline as yeah, that. Yeah, it's not just like, go. And we we never answer. said when we were going to New York for a month that we were going to know what we were going to do at the end of the month. It was... It was to right. gather information. Right, which we're, yeah, there's not, there's no like issue. It's just doing that was kind of just intel basically for us. It wasn't necessarily like. We're going to make up our mind right after. Yeah, we just like, actually we don't even know. I don't think how we were going to interpret that information once no. having it. Like, I don't know if we thought we were going to make a decision right then or whatever, but basically we just feel like y'all are invested and obviously we're invested in this decision too because it's our life. So to update everyone and to keep you guys in the loop, our time in New York was amazing. We loved it. We definitely want to have more New York time, time in yeah. our life. 
Let's take a chug. <laughs> to help. Yeah. So we definitely want more of that. We know that for sure. But logistically, we have a lot more to figure out than we anticipated maybe. I mean, we always knew it was going to be a lot to figure out. Yeah. So I think what happened is we went there, we got the intel, which was basically that we do love New York pretty Which much as much as we, we thought, thought we, we did, did. Yeah. and we definitely want more of it but logistically at this point in our lives figuring out how to full-on move there has been really um complicated for us yeah. so and i mean sure it's only been a week or two since we're not even a week since we've been back yeah but fathoming what it would take to make a full move to new york is a bit overwhelming right now. Yeah, and so to give you guys some more insight on like our situation and stuff, we own our home here in Southern California, so it's not as easy as when we were younger and we just rented apartments and we were kind of Like our more, lease is up, okay, yeah. you gotta move. Like. We kind of had more freedom. We also owned less belongings because of that. Like none of our apartments, we even had like a kitchen table because they there was no space enough, for them, yeah. yeah. So now just like having more things like that um, makes it a bit more complicated. And there's some other external factors in our life that make it a little complicated too. For example, in previous times in our life when we had wanted to move to New York and we didn't, we did not have as good of a friend base where we lived. And mm -hmm. I feel like that is a huge thing for us because in my life, friends have always been like family to me. Yeah. We have so many good friends here. Yeah, we here. spend at least like two nights a week with friends. Yeah. yeah, and they're just like, they're literally like family to us. And it's hard to leave that. Yeah, and I mean, that's not to say if we moved to New York, we wouldn't be able to meet friends. We obviously would. Right. And these are friends that we've cultivated great relationships and with. And we feel like and they're family. Like it's, yeah, you don't want to stop so. spending time together, so. That's something that we have been toiling with a bit, I guess, internally. And there's a lot of personal things that we're going through right now. Like mm -hmm. my family is still dealing with like loss and grief and we definitely want to spend a lot of time with them so that we can be there for them and support them. And that's just a chapter in our lives that we didn't see coming, but we're in now yeah. and we kind of have to be sensitive and aware of that and although we could obviously still get to reno from new york it is a little bit easier from here yeah and um yeah i mean these are just like things that we have to life, consider life. other things that we have to consider in our life is just figuring out like what we're doing like if we ever want to have children when we'd want to do that if we want to do that um like yeah this is just like such a huge crossroads in our life yeah. And we have so much, like, there's personal stuff, like Delaney says, going on. And there's business stuff. There's our relationship. And then there's where do we want to live. And it's like, it's a big crossroads yeah. that we're trying to navigate. And, and when we were younger, it was just easier to do something like that because there was less implications in a lot of ways. So I feel like we struggle with that now. And then like other things like quality of life, it was actually really interesting in our last vlog where we asked you guys to kind of weigh in because we were feeling conflicted similar to now about where to live. And a lot of you were weighing in that you're from New York or you've lived in New York mm -hmm. or whatever. And the quality of life really is very hard and it's really easy to get stressed out in a city. It can take years off of your life. It can decrease your health and well-being whatever like we fully get that and i feel like we saw that experienced it at a small scale yeah the like time we, were there. we could see the truth to that obviously by being there for the past month and although we like really like cities and we like the experiences and the magic that a city offers even though it is harder than other lifestyles we also are at a point in our lives where i think we value our quality of life and well-being a little bit more mm -hmm. than we did when we were younger. I mean, we used to like abuse our bodies with alcohol and you know, you're just, we just we're like a matured a little yeah, bit. We're just at a different stage of life. Where, yeah. Like, we're you like, you want to be juicing. Yeah. You appreciate a higher quality of life. Like, yeah. More peace or more. Yeah. And yeah. we're like more aligned with that. Like, of course, all of that is always great. But when you're young and you're just like beating 
your body into the ground. Party, this, that or the staying other. out late, it doesn't matter what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, like we're just a little bit more aligned with the values of like having a high quality of life. And like we said, we totally get the magic and the, like we are those type of people that love New York. You guys mm. saw from us 100%. being there. Like it's not like we are I, calm, like home body people that just shouldn't be in a city. We do really love that, but we're just in a space in our life now where we think differently than we used to. Yeah. We're not sitting here being like, do we really like New York City? We're sitting here being like, we absolutely love New York City, but like how much can it be a part of our life? I think it's the big thing. And we're just trying to make smart decisions for ourselves and our future selves and things that we want to do in the future. So that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. And I personally have never been the type of person to plan out my life. And I still don't really want to do that. But I do want to be mindful and strategic and conscious of my decisions and be making good decisions right. for myself and my partner and if we wanted to have kids or whatever. So these are just like all things that we're considering. And um, I don't know. Like, Yeah. So I think to like summarize and to like give you guys the proper update, like what you could take away from it. Because yeah. like we are just like sitting here literally venting in a way. But yeah. I think for you guys at home and everybody invested, it's like we are going to figure out a way to spend time in New York. Yeah. I think that's like the main thing is we're going to figure out a way to spend more time. We're not sure if it's a what full it uproot like. yet. Like we're not sure if we're going to completely move there or if we're going to do more month long stays or maybe two month long yeah. stays. We think that the answer for us at this point in our lives is basically achieving some version of being bi-coastal because we don't want to give up the friendships that we have here, the roots that we have here, the quality of life that we do enjoy here, but we also don't want to give up the dream of experiencing more of a city lifestyle and the magic that New York has to offer yeah. and the opportunities and the everything. And for us personally, we think what that looks like is being bi-coastal instead of full on moving to New York yeah. at this point. So I think that it's different for everybody where they are in their life and what feels right to them. And after like experiencing a little bit of both and talking between each other for days on ends, like we've been talking mm -hmm. about it so much, I think that our truth feels the closest to figuring out a way to have more time in New York, but not fully moving there. So yeah. in some ways that kind of broke our heart because it was in our mind, a dream to just full on move there. But at the same time, I feel like it's a really important lesson for me that I'm constantly trying to learn in life to be flexible and less rigid with things. So even though I had this idea in my head for so long of what that dream looked like, when life presents it to you in a slightly tweaked way, I want to be able to be good at accepting that and going with it and seeing where it takes yeah. me and not being so rigid about what well, had to happen this way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of that's what, what happens. Doing. Every time you have to make a decision in life or you're going to be making it at a different time than if it were presented to you. Or just with like different With factors. different implications. Yeah. And so here we are again, maybe three years after the last time we wanted to move to New York and a lot has changed in our lives and you know we just have to figure out a different way of doing it yeah and so that's kind of like we said what feels the most true to us and what is resonating the most and feels the most right so that's kind of our plan moving forward it's a broad plan so we don't know exactly how Very it's going to pan out but We're, that's we will keep kind you guys of our updated and decision I would yeah, say it's a decision but we'll keep you guys updated and as things change or our feelings change or if we you know once we've planned another month or maybe yeah. we've planned whatever we, the next plan is i'll yeah. keep you guys updated yeah but and bottom line have... is i think you can plan on seeing us in new york more that's what we hope for like we'll have to see how it turns out but that's what we're currently thinking and planning for and hoping for but we just have a lot going on in our lives too like you know, trying to balance all the stuff with my family and what's going on personally and being like showing up in that way. Um, we also have like a lot of exciting personal things going on in our life with friends. We have a lot of friends getting married next year. 
Um, business things coming. Yeah, other like ventures and things that we're doing in our personal life that we're excited about. So we just have like, a lot of things going on and we don't want to like put this dream of experiencing more of New York on the back burner but we do, do just have to navigate like how that fits in with everything mm -hmm. else going on in our lives so like we said it's kind of a broad plan we don't know exactly how it pans out or what it looks like yet but um, we're just gonna follow our hearts as best as we can and be like grateful and easygoing but still ambitious at the same time yep. And something that we've discussed yeah. a lot in Big this one. process is just to remember that we have the ability to be happy wherever we are. So it's not like a huge weighted decision of where to live and our happiness is only going to be achieved if we're in the right place and we make the right decision. Um, we're just trying to ground ourselves in the fact that we can be happy and grateful and in experience and enjoy anywhere but at the same time be able to navigate when to make a decision and what and, our ambitions are and yeah, to understand them and to like them. be um proactive about that and make it happen so you know i feel like probably everybody struggles with that a little bit and we're just doing the best we can to yeah. make it all happen it's but like still be have, grounded right we have the ability to be happy and we have the ability to have a good perspective like if we just go into every situation and every adventure in our life uh, with just a good perspective and like gratefulness to be able to do whatever we're doing like we can have fun and appreciate it yeah so that's so, what we're doing here yeah and that's what we'll do anywhere we go yeah so hopefully that answers the questions as best as we can because the questions that you guys have we still have for ourselves personally <laughs> a bit too so we're just muddling uh, through you guys are along for the ride i mean that's, yeah. that's like the fun part of youtube and the fun part of Sharing this our, job and sharing yeah. our life is so this is what the real raw what it looks like to figure this out so yeah. we'll keep going keep following along we appreciate you guys being here and we're excited to see whatever it is that the future holds for us and what it looks like yeah so that's the update